welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler. And today, we're going to talk about graphing equations of lines. So there's a couple of key points to remember when you're graphing the equation of a line. There is the slope-intercept form of an equation, y equals mx plus b. And in this equation, you have your y and your x, which are always going to stay y and x. You also have m, which represents your slope. And you have b, which represents your y-intercept, or where the graph crosses the y-axis. Now, with finding your slope, there's a couple ways you can do it. I find that with graphing equations, the easier way is to remember that slope equals rise over run. So it's going to come in handy when we get to a couple of these examples, and I'll show you how. So let's get started. Let's say you have an example that asks you to draw the graph that represents the line y equals negative one-third x minus two. So you have a graph here. There's a couple of key parts that I start with. First thing I want to look at is where is the y-intercept? Where does it cross the y-axis? Well, if I remember correctly, you have y equals mx plus b. b represents the y-intercept, which in this case is where it crosses the y-axis. So in my equation, the y-intercept is negative two. So I'm going to go to my y-axis, I'm going to change colors here. I'm going to find negative 2 on the y-axis, which is right here. I'm going to draw a dot. Now I can look at my slope. My slope is negative 1 third. Negative slope means that it has to go down to the right. So if I remember correctly, slope is rise over run. Well, instead of rising, I'm going to fall because it's negative. So I'm going to go down 1 which is here, and I'm going to run three. One, two, three, I'm going to draw a dot, and then I can just draw a line straight through that. And that's going to be the equation of my line. If I wanted to, I can go in the reverse direction just to make sure I get an extra point. And this time, I'm going to rise one and go the opposite direction, one, two, three, and you can see my line's a little off, but you get the idea. You just draw, find out your y-intercept, use your slope to find the next point, and draw a line through them. So let's take a look at another example. This time they've given us a graph already drawn. It says, what is the equation of the line represented by the graph below? So this time you have to work in the, the backwards direction. So I'm going to change colors real quick. One of the things I'm going to first look at is where's my y-intercept? Where does this line cross the y-axis? And I can see right here, it crosses at y equals 1. So if my equation y equals mx plus b, I can start plugging in the information I know. My y-intercept is 1. It's a positive 1. So I'm going to write that here, plus 1. The next thing I want to look at is what is my slope? What is the rise? What is the run? If I start from my 1 right here, I can figure out how many do I rise. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many do I run? 1, 2, 3. So rise over run is going to be 4 over 3. Now I told you before that y and x are just going to stay y and x. So I can plug them in, plug them in, and I get my equation. y equals 4 thirds x plus 1. This equation right here represents the line that's drawn on this graph over here. So I think it's a good idea when you start looking at a graph, start with your y-intercept. From there, you can use your slope to figure out how far you rise and run. And then it's just a matter of plugging it into where they go in the equation. So I hope this helps when you get to drawing equations of lines and figuring out what the equation is when you're already given a graph. Good luck. At GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.